So question three is what are some resources that a school counselor can provide students? There are so many. <laughs> so it depends a lot on um, how your school is set up. Some schools have just counselors who do everything. Some schools have like guidance counselors and then college counselors, mm -hmm. whatever. But basically across the board, they are there to give you support and give you information and guide you through high school and onward. So um, anything you can think of from deciding what classes to take in high school, if you have any problems at school or even problems at home that you want to talk to them about, um, they are also great resources for college planning and career planning, um, whatever you are looking for, pretty much. They are the go-to person, and if they don't have the answers, they generally know where to point you to get them. Yeah. One thing we haven't really talked about yet is test prep stuff. Mm -hmm. I think that counselors are a really good resource for that. Um, SAT word game, collegepress.com. <laughs> <laughs> I think that... You know, I definitely felt lost. I, I mean, obviously you hear SAT, a ACT, you know, for as long as I can remember. Um, but then when it comes time to start thinking about it more seriously, I didn't know where to start. Um, so it was really helpful to have our counselors. And a lot of times they would meet with us in a, in a group setting. Um, so it wasn't always a one-on-one -on -one type of situation, but to just arm us with information about test prep, what we needed to do and when we needed to do it, that was really um, beneficial for me because I feel like I didn't have any information about that. Mm -hmm. I think something else we haven't talked a lot about either is um, scholarships, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they are so helpful for finding scholarships, um, especially because you can definitely go online and look and there's all sorts of resources that you can find on your own, but a lot of um, counseling offices will have like a box or a drawer or a display of some kind of scholarships. Um, and information, and if there's things you have to apply for. Um, but there's also a lot of local scholarships that mm -hmm. are like just for certain cities or mm -hmm. counties or whatever, um, yeah. and your counselor is generally up to speed on those. Mm -hmm. And they might know about you know more sneaky ones that are like, mm -hmm. you sneaky. fit the bill for this, um, yeah. but you might not see it you know, in big bold letters um, wherever you're looking, so they can be good you know judges of that, especially if they know you well and they know you're academic standing or your extracurriculars or whatever it may be. Yeah, for sure. It can also be super overwhelming if you just type in like college scholarships. Right. There's so yeah. many right. and they vary from like specific programs or specific places or totally. specific schools. So they're good at helping you weed them all out. Yeah. And financial aid stuff too, like mm -hmm. in that same vein, um, you know, just starting to think about that can be very overwhelming. and you know, your parent or guardian or whoever um, is helping you pay for college might have a little bit of knowledge, but for the most part, like, things are ebbing and flowing and changing all the time, so it's good to have the counselors that are very much in the know, on the pulse, they know what the deal is with when you have to apply and what you should apply for and expectations, all that stuff. I think also a lot of colleges and resources like College, college Express, like, reach out to high school counselors with resources that are really helpful. Hmm. I know we do. Um, <laughs> CollegeExpress.com. That, that was not a plug. <laughs> um, so they do have all these resources constantly coming in, of uh, like new lists for kids, colleges, and all that kind of stuff. So definitely like see what they have, see what just came in. Ask mm -hmm. them like what kind of pamphlets they have about schools. They have all that. There are also a lot of, um, I've seen a lot of schools that have events either during the day or at night where your parents can come that are like financial aid nights where it's a big group presentation, um, but those are really helpful. And then like I was saying earlier, um, counselors work with admission counselors at colleges. So there's like colleges visiting your high school pretty much every day for mm -hmm. the most part, um, especially between like September and December, and then again, usually in the spring. Um, so kind of keep an eye out because a lot of times they'll be like, lightly publicized or there's like a poster mm -hmm. on the guidance counselor door but you might not know otherwise right, so. Right. so look at the door yeah <laughs> <laughs> just, just go on the wall <laughs> right into the door in college fairs I don't, yeah i don't know if you said that but they yeah. know of all the college fairs in the area so they can let you know where those are mm -hmm. which is nice. for sure I think one of the more unique and more valuable experiences I've had was the guidance counselor set up an alumni day. So all of the current freshmen of colleges came in for a senior year of high school mm -hmm. and they gave their experience of how they went through the process and where they ended up and cool. what worked, what didn't work. There was a few people that you know, transferred after one semester. There's people that were like, hey, this is my best fit. Mm -hmm. 
I can't make this up because it's just too funny, but we had this kid that was gorgeous, football quarterback, you know. Gorgeous. Now let me tell you something. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but so like, yeah, good looking guy, great grades, ended up between Yale and Harvard. And he was like, so I went to Yale and, you know, I, I guess you could say everything worked out nice. I was like, worked out nice? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah I think, I th think everything worked out nice. real nice. Uh, so it was funny to have him be a guest speaker. But then there was a lot more natural uh, students that are coming. Natural. Unrelatable. <laughs> he was not unnatural. <laughs> yeah, he was unnatural. Super natural. <laughs> so, yeah. But that was one of the best experiences for me and very much ingrained in my memory of. I like that coming mm -hmm. in and saying, yeah, here's cool. my experience and how we ended up going through and picking schools. Another thing too is you said the different resources getting sent. I don't know where my college counselor got it, but it was basically a giant map of uh, the different regions and then what schools are in the like, Yeah, <laughs> we have some, some very sim college uh, Something very similar. We're <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which will be collegequest.com. Yeah. So there's different um, <laughs> different regions and what schools were in that region and then based off of those schools what program of interest you're and so narrowing down that funnel helped out significantly and knowing that I didn't want to go too far away from home and being able to see it on a map too was just a nice easy way to visualize and see everything from a bird's eye view. That's true, because you really don't know how many colleges are just in your area. You're like, I don't want to go too far. I want to stay like if you're in New England, I want to stay within the New England states. But I was like, oh, I applied to like seven schools. I applied to like a good amount. But then I kept hearing about more and more schools in the area. I'm like, how have I never heard of these schools? Mm -hmm. So it probably would have been nice to have a map. <laughs> Solid Something express right. map. Yeah. Something else that you just reminded me of is that you should be honest with all of these people. Because I feel like when I was <laughs> in high school and like figuring out where I wanted to go to college, I like... I don't know if I just didn't take the time to like form any deep opinions about what I wanted or if I was just sort of like skating through and being like, I think I should probably do this. But I know I just have like very generic conversations about like, this is what I might want or this is what seems like it could be a good path. Mm -hmm. But I wasn't necessarily being like, I know that I want this and I definitely want this. I think that's yeah. also a hard conversation to have as a high school yeah, student too. Yeah. So not like you said, skating by, but I feel like that's a real not issue, it's, it's, it's a reality of a high school student is that you, you don't know. Right, yeah, uh, yeah. And a lot of the times you're going to go through your college career and say, oh, that, right. mm, yeah. that didn't work. Yeah. So I mean, that, I, that's if a, I could change one thing, I would have wished for a little bit more back and forth between my counselor and I because I think I feel the same way. I mean, I, it's embarrassing, but I have to admit, most of my college applications um, – were based off of location, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the aesthetic of the campus, uh, <laughs> the uh, <laughs> just things that were very shallow um, because I just I just didn't feel empowered to ask the right questions. I didn't. I, I was never challenged by my counselor either. You know, so Abby, why do you want to apply to the University of South Florida and the College of Charleston and you know these schools that are like nothing in common whatsoever, don't have like an extraordinarily well-known English program, What what's, you know what I mean? I was never challenged and I didn't feel empowered, so we both fell short in that regard. Mm -hmm. um, so I ended up applying to many schools that, you know, just because, and I ended up, my first school I went to was terrible for me. So um, definitely ask questions, let them challenge you, um, feel empowered to make more informed decisions and uh, moral of the story is don't apply to schools just because they're pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Cost money to do that. Cost money to do it. I think also with transferring, um, a lot of times students obviously are transferring for a really specific reason, like it wasn't a good fit, sometimes it's financial, whatever it might be, but when you're then looking for the next school to go to, be super honest with the admission counselors at that school about why it didn't work out because mm -hmm. a lot of times they can either steer you away if they're like, you might have that same problem here. Right, right. Or they can be like, these are the supports. We have to make sure that doesn't happen right, again. Right, right. Yeah, so that's really helpful. Really I think you have to like not be worried about being like sounding too picky when you're yeah. talking to them because yeah. I think it's all probably easier for them if you like have a list of like, this is what I don't like, this is what I yeah. do like, rather than going in and being like, I didn't like this school. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're not going to offend your counselor, no. it, it, you know, and there's there's this kind of misguided view that an admission counselor might be offended if you don't end up going to their 
school, um, if you spend a lot of time talking to them, asking them questions, if they understand. Like, yeah. you don't owe them anything. <laughs> For sure. This is a huge <laughs> life decision. You're going to spend a lot of time and a lot of money at this institution. You don't owe your counselor anything or an admissions counselor anyway. I'm sure you can. Yeah, I totally agree. Yeah. I think a lot of times um, students, especially students that I talk to like endlessly, right. would feel bad that they weren't coming there. Right. I was like, no, good. Like, it's go fine. to your thing. Yeah. Go to the school that's good right. for you. Because ultimately, all counselors are in it for you. They want mm -hmm. you to be happy and go to the right school. They're not They're not salespeople. They're not yeah. trying to get you to come and, and you know, they don't get a cut of your tuition if you <laughs> don't. Like they, they are Slide there to the help. <laughs> <laughs> They're there to help you. Um, Did I you ever that's... have the reverse experience though, where you like the student so much and then they were like, "Hey, see." Ya. Yeah, that it's sad, but I still was like, "Oh, good for you," but like, I'm sorry, <laughs> but good for you. Yeah, but yeah, it happens a lot. 